Okay, today we're going to talk about a, uh, how to calculate the power reserve or the duration of run of a watch. There is a simple formula for figuring out this, uh, the power reserve, and it is taught in the textbook theory of horology in section 5.6.3. You can see from the illustration here uh, that the only information needed is uh, the number of teeth on the barrel, and the number of leaves on the center wheel or great wheel pinion, uh, as well as the number of turns that the barrel makes when it does a complete rundown. The formula is simple. It's N2 over N1 equals Z1 over Z2, where N1 is the number of turns of the barrel, N2 is the number of revolutions of the center wheel or great wheel, Z1 is the number of teeth on the barrel, and Z2 is the number of leaves on the great wheel pinion or center wheel pinion. In the event that you have a center wheel in the watch and the cannon pinion is attached to that wheel, it will make one rotation each hour, making it very easy to get the runtime. If it is an offset center wheel, you will need to know how many turns that wheel makes per hour in order to then extrapolate from that uh, how many hours the watch will run uh, before it stops. We'll go ahead and work out a sample problem here. We're going to begin by going ahead and writing our formula up there so that we can easily remember what it is. The formula is N2 over N1 equals Z1 over Z2. In this first problem, you have a watch, and in that watch you have a barrel with 72 teeth, a center wheel with 12 pinions on the center wheel pinion, and the barrel makes eight complete turns um, from full wind to zero wind on the watch. We'll go ahead and write those numbers up here so they're easy to remember. Z1 equals 72, Z2 equals 12, and the number of turns of the barrel, 8. So now all we need to do is plug these numbers into our formula. N2 is what we're trying to solve, so we'll do N2 over 8 equals 72 over 12. And 2 equals 72 times 8 over 12, or 48. The center wheel makes 48 turns. Since the center wheel has the cannon pinion attached to it, we know that's the same as hours. It makes one turn per hour. So our answer here, the power reserve is 48 hours. I'll go ahead and give you another problem here uh, for you to work out. You can then pause the video, work it out on your own, come back and check your answer. In this problem you have a watch. The barrel has 80 teeth, the pinion of the center wheel has 10 leaves, and the barrel makes six complete rotations before the watch runs down. I'll write this down here quickly for you. Uh, barrel 80 center wheel pinion 10 barrel turns equals 6. Go ahead and pause the video do your calculations and come back when you're completed to check your answer. Okay, welcome back. I assume that you've taken the time to perform the calculations and now you are ready to check your answer. We'll go ahead and write them down using the uh, 
variables from the equation now, so you can make sure that you enter them in the right place. Uh, the number of teeth on the barrel, that's Z1, was 80. The number of leaves on the center wheel pinion was 10, that's Z2. And the number of turns of the barrel, that was N1, was 6. We'll plug those into our equation. N2 over 6 equals 80 over 10. N2 equals 6 times 80 over 10, or 48. This watch, same as the last problem, has a 48 hour power reserve. Okay, so your final question may be, what if the watch has a great wheel, and that is an offset center wheel that doesn't make necessarily one turn per hour? How do you figure out in hours? Uh, the key to that is to know how many vibrations per hour the watch makes and to calculate from that the number of turns that the center wheel would make in one hour. In order to do that, you have to count all the teeth in the gear train to calculate that. Uh, watch our upcoming video on how to calculate the vibrations per hour, and we will also tackle this topic of working backwards and then do a quick runtime review after that where you can determine if you don't have the center wheel, what would be the runtime of the watch? Thank you for watching, and look back for more theory videos from AWCI coming soon.